What is happening? I'm in 64, Josh, and you can't see me right now, can you? That's the point of this video. This is what we're going to be talking about. So, I'm using OBS to record this video right now with... I'm looking into my Canon M200 hooked up into my Elgato capture card. Now, let's switch over to camera 2, which is the M50 using the EOS web utility, and I am on a Mac. This should work for both Mac and PC. So here's what happens. Look at that. How many of you guys are seeing this? You're seeing this screen on the regular where there's like, it, you're like, how do, I f how do I fix this? Why am I not? It's picking up the camera, but I don't see the camera. So I'm going to go over what you need to do. So what's happening is the EOS utility is turning on and that's what's taking your source. So that's why OBS is giving you this signal right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to click on EOS utility three. All right. And I can see it's hooked up to my, to my M50. You guys, I know you guys can't see it right now. I hit quit. Watch what happens. I'm not going to change cameras. I'm not pressing any buttons. Watch what happens. It's going to take it a minute. All right. So be patient with it. It takes just a second, but there I am. Now I'm using the EOS web utility. So you get clean HDMI, you still get autofocus. All right. Like look, Pokeball still focuses. Okay. So with the M50, I know a lot of you guys have watched my how to get clean, clean HDMI out of the M50 while using the capture card and you have to turn off uh, your autofocus for that. No longer is the case with the EOS web, uh, webcam utility and it's out of beta now and it works very well. I've had, I've had zero issues with this thing. You just got to give it a second like you saw there to, to load up. So with OBS open, if you want the camera to work right off the bat, make sure that your EOS utility does not come on when it recognizes the camera being connected. Okay, so I have the AC adapter, which I'll have a link for in the comments, and I have a USB into the computer. That's it. It doesn't shut off. It just works, and it works well. And as you can see, I'm at like 24 frames a second. I have more, I have more options running with the web utility than I do with the webcam utility than I do uh, running this camera with the Elgato. They, they both look great, but this isn't, this isn't 24. And I can't, I can't change that as far as I know I've tried. So there you go. I hope that helps. If you're having issues with the webcam utility and it's not working for you, just turn off the EOS utility. You can even just delete it from your computer if you don't want to deal with it. And then OBS will recognize your webcam and you'll, you'll be set up and good to go. Keep in mind, you can't have the EOS webcam utility working on OBS and then also working on Discord at the same time. At least that's the case for me. So let me know if you got any other questions in the comments. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're going to keep doing more, uh, more streaming tips right here on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next one. Bye now.